let's, Jason, if we could, let's shift gears. And I know you had um, a big part in the development of the new Speed Stick Walleye Series for Lou's. Uh, talk about that experience and, and a little bit what went into that, if you will. Right. So basically, two and a half years ago, Lou's Strike King came to me and, and offered me a, a position with them to get into the walleye market. And obviously, I couldn't pass that opportunity up. Those don't come around every day. So I jumped on board, and, and we immediately started developing some baits, some lures, and then, of course, the lose rods, which everybody knows as the speed stick. Mm -hmm. What we wanted to do is come out with a rod series that was affordable, which would easily get on the, on the market, and just about anybody could use them, but we still wanted to have quality. So that was the hardest part, was developing a $79 rod that, still felt like a $200 rod, but everybody could afford. So uh, we, we went through the gamut of, of spinning rods from 6.3 all the way up to 7.6. We went through the trolling rods, both telescopic rods for planer boards and lead core rods. And then we also developed uh, a bottom bouncer rod for the walleye guys. So there was a bunch of them. I think there was probably 13 or 14 different rods that that we worked on to get to the market. And those things flew off the shelves as soon as they hit the market. At 80 bucks, everybody can buy one and, and afford it. And um, I'll tell you what, for 80 bucks, there's there's no doubt that rod feels like it's 150 or better. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice rod. It does what you want it to. I use them more times than not. Um, and I'm thoroughly impressed by what we, what we designed. Right, right. And from a, a fishing guide's perspective, as someone who probably fishes walleyes 80% of my trips, I use them exclusively in terms of my walleye rods. And I can't tell you the number of times at the end of a trip we're pulling bottom bouncers like we have been lately, where actually last Saturday, I think it was, that we had... I had three ladies in my boat who all could fish and they were so impressed that we went back to Christofferson's in Alexandria and they each bought one for themselves. And then, then they bought um, Father's Day gifts, same rod for their husbands, you know, Perfect. so yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and like, and like you said, Jason, for $80, I'm not sure there's a better value in the walleye market right now. Right. Right. I mean, I, same thing, Mike, you get rods in people's hands and, I get co-anglers that use these rods for the first time. You know, we were vertical jigging at Chamberlain using the six, seven models, uh, medium action spinning rods, extra fast. Mm -hmm. And they're just perfectly balanced. I mean, you match them up with a loose custom pro spinning reel and everything's weighted perfect. You just hover those jigs and wham. I mean, you feel those bites like nothing. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm super happy with what they came out with. That's awesome. That's awesome. So can you tell us, Jason, maybe you can't tell us, do you guys, as the pro staff, the walleye guys have any, I mean, are there plans for more lose walleye rods or can't you let the, the cat yeah, out? Yeah, I mean, of course, this industry got thrown for a loop with COVID, just mm -hmm. like everything in this industry, boating, motors, everything, boats, motors, lures, rods, reels, hard, line, hard baits, soft baits. Everything got kind of got thrown back a little bit, and everybody started fishing. We do have, um, we were going to have our own signature series rods, which would be, you know, price pointed right at that 180 mark. And um, it's not been put to bed, but we're still planning on moving forward with that. So okay. um, that's the plan. Awesome, awesome.